What is up? Snyder Cards here, and today I'm going over some pickups bought from two sellers off of eBay. Uh, some PC, some OPG Platinum, parallels for my collection, uh, some other cheap rookies that I thought maybe can go up in value. Uh, only one auto, and they're all, all pretty cheap cards. I'm going to start with the second seller. There's more cards from the second seller. Uh, the uh, second seller had like a big list of like one or two dollar cards and I went through that uh, to flatten out the package since there's quite a few cards he uh, sent me some uh, extras a Warren Fogle a couple Warren Fogle rookies some overtime base cards overtime base cards a Sakura rookie portrait and, uh, Panarin uh, mm -hmm. champs rookie which is kind of cool a little bit of damage though uh, a Pontus Aberg Young Gun, I don't think he's playing in the NHL anymore. And Nick Palmieri. Not Kyle Palmieri, but still pretty cool. That was nice. The seller. Uh, now I'm going to go into stuff I actually bought from him. First, a show me some glove of Yaroslav Halak from uh, 1516 Contours. Nice little jersey swatch there. This was two bucks. I thought I might as well pick it up cheap. And this is like a card that I'll probably just keep because it's kind of cool, and then uh, later down the road, do something with it, probably uh, give it away or something in a giveaway. Not sure yet. These were two bucks each. Two OPG Platinum Color Wheels. 1617, Nikita Kucherov, Jonathan Huberdeau. Uh, Huberdeau having a great season this year. Throw it in the Platinum Parallel Collection. I, I really like the Color Wheels. Uh, here's three more. These are from 1920. We got uh, Vasilevsky. Alexander Barkov and Braden Point. These were two bucks each as well. Fortunate moat. All of them have some kind of damage, chipping, surface issue. As you see there, the point got some kind of chip there. That one had like a little piece of hair, which was kind of weird. Uh, a Vasilevsky. There's some like black stuff there. Which I don't know why, what that is. I tried getting it off. Definitely can't. This Barkov had a little chip up there, but that's just for my collection. I'm not like trying to resell these, so it's all right. And those are all from EPAC, I believe. Uh, here's a couple more. These are marquee rookie ones. Uh, here's a, here, I'll go through this one first. 16, 17, Connor Brown, marquee rookie color wheel. He's now on Ottawa. There's no issues with that one, and there's no issues with this one. A Fogel color wheel marquee rookie from 18, 19. Uh, both, uh, both still playing, and I might as well pick them up. I really like, uh, how the marquee rookie is also rainbow. The, the text there, that's kind of cool. Two young guns, both players gonna be playing in the playoffs. Maybe they jump up a couple bucks. Maybe can resell them. We'll see. Uh, here's a Nichushkin young gun and a Nick Letty young gun. Uh, Nick Letty on, uh, St. Louis now. And, uh, Nichushkin. It's been with Colorado for quite some time now. Uh, here is something for my Flames PC. Uh, Elias Lindholm from Totally Cert Panini Totally Certified. Uh, rookie. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do want to pick up more uh, of Lindholm and uh, some Backlund. I haven't. I still haven't bought a Backlund Young Gun yet, which I'm kind of not happy about. I should definitely get one from Upper Deck Stature 1920. A portrait, a rainbow portrait of. And Honors Lee, this is to 85. Uh, this is the same as the Halak jersey. I thought I might as well pick it up down the road, maybe. Can sell it or uh, give it away. Uh, this was three bucks. Oh, I should mention this was two bucks and the Young Guns were two bucks. Honors Lee, the captain of the Islanders. Uh, now I got a couple Panarin rookies from 1516. This is from Parker's. Uh, maybe these jump up in value. They're two bucks each, so. And then there's a OPG uh, glossy rookie there, a Panarin. This is from uh, Series 2 in the Mega Boxes. It was either Tins or uh, Mega Box. But that's the first seller there. Uh, nice of him to throw in some extras there. Uh, now on to uh, the second one. There's five cards here. Oh, keep dropping cards. Um, I was searching for a Oliver Shillington Ice Premieres. So here I got one. Oh, keep dropping cards, man. Uh, Oliver Shillington Ice Premieres to nine ninety nine. There, 
uh, Shillington, kind of slowing down recently. Uh, still a great player for the Flames. He's an RFA at the end of the year. So I found that, and I like to go through, uh, like, I knew I was going to buy that, and then I like to go through the seller's uh, other stuff to see if there's anything else I like that maybe I can buy. And I found these cards as well. We'll start with this one. A Marcus Johansson blue uh, rainbow. There's some stickers on there. That's not what I paid uh, two bucks for this. This is to 149. It's the retro. He's now on uh, Washington though. So from 1516 series two, Frank Viterano, young gun. This was two bucks. Uh, he will also be in the playoffs. Uh, he's on New York, the Rangers right now. Thought I'd pick it up. He is likely a third liner on their stacked team. 1516 ice. We got a Brock McGinn ice premieres rookie to 499. Hard signed auto. There's a little bit of surface issues uh, when I checked, but that's all right. Uh, I bought this for three three dollars and fifty cents. This is the highest card I paid for in this video. I thought I might as well pick it up. Uh, it's cheap, and it's most likely not going to go down in value because he's definitely he's injured right now. Uh, buy when people are injured. That's what I kind of think. Or uh, during the off season. Uh, he's injured right now. He probably won't be coming back for uh, the playoffs for Pittsburgh. A Dan Vladar Ice Premieres to 1299. Uh, this is from 1819. He is the backup of the Flames. I got this for two bucks. I want to really buy a Vladar Future Watch, but I have to wait until uh, until the off season. That's my plan: is to wait and buy a couple, like a couple Future Watches during the off season. I really want to buy a, uh, I still want to buy a Dubé one. He's playing really good right now, but I was actually very close to buying one, but then decided I should just wait. I also want to buy a Johnny Goodrow one, but I have to wait until, until he re-signs. Hopefully he re-signs, but there is that. Uh, there is my, uh, pickups vid. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, the video that was supposed to come out this week is coming out next week now. I just can't get the recording properly done uh but we'll get there anyways thanks for watching and i will see you later